Ever wondered how the resilient camels of the desert manage to reproduce in such harsh conditions? If you have, you're in the right place. Today we're embarking on a journey to explore the mysterious and fascinating world of camel reproduction. Camels, these magnificent creatures of endurance, are native to the desert, a place where life seems almost impossible. Yet they've not only adapted but thrived in such an environment. Their resilience is a testament to their incredible biological design. But how do they continue their lineage in such a relentless environment? The answer lies in their unique reproductive process. Camels have developed intriguing methods to ensure their survival, and reproduction is no exception. Understanding this process is crucial, not just for animal enthusiasts, but also for those with a keen interest in biology. The reproductive cycle of a camel is a complex yet beautifully orchestrated process. It begins with the mating season, a time when camels are most fertile. The courtship, a dance of sorts, is a spectacle to behold. Following this, the act of mating occurs, a process that ensures the continuation of their species. After successful mating, the female camel enters a period of gestation where she carries the young camel, known as a calf, within her. The birth of a newborn camel is a remarkable event an affirming testament to the resilience and tenacity of life in the harshest of environments. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Each of these stages has its own set of complexities and intricacies, ones that are shaped by the unique environment the camels inhabit. So, are you ready to delve deeper? To truly understand the marvel that is camel reproduction, we need to unpack each stage. We'll explore the triggers for the mating season, the rituals of courtship, the act of mating itself, and finally, the gestation period leading to the birth of a new life. Stay tuned as we delve deep into the intriguing world of camel reproduction. The journey promises to be as captivating as it is enlightening, a testament to the wonder of life in the most challenging of conditions. Did you know that camels have a specific mating season? Yes, you heard that right. Camels, like many other species, have a designated time of the year when they engage in reproduction. This mating season plays a crucial role in the life cycle of these fascinating creatures. The mating season for camels typically falls in the cooler months, specifically between November and March. This period is chosen by nature to ensure the survival of the offspring. The cooler weather provides an ideal environment for the newborn calves, protecting them from the harsh desert heat. Now, let's talk about how the female camel, also known as the cow, signals that she's ready to mate. The signs can be quite noticeable. The cow becomes restless and her behavior changes drastically. She may sway her tail continuously or repeatedly urinate. These are clear indications that she's in heat and ready for reproduction. On the other hand, the male camel, referred to as the bull, exhibits his own set of behaviors in response to these signals. The bull becomes more aggressive and territorial. He inflates his dullar, a pinkish balloon-like organ in his throat, and lets out loud, deep, bellowing sounds. These actions are meant to attract the female and deter other males. The bull also secretes a strong-smelling fluid from glands near his eyes and starts to foam at the mouth. This might not sound appealing to us, but to the female camel, it's the equivalent of a love potion, signaling that he is a suitable mate. In this season, the male camel's primary focus is to win over the female and ensure his genes are passed on to the next generation. It's a fascinating display of nature's way of ensuring the survival and continuation of a species. Now that we've understood the basics, let's explore the actual process of camel reproduction. It's an intriguing journey filled with unique behaviors and adaptations, perfectly designed for life in the desert. So stick around and let's delve deeper into the captivating world of camel reproduction. The camel courtship is a fascinating spectacle full of unique rituals and behaviors. In the animal kingdom, it's not always about the strongest or the fastest, but often about who can put on the best show. And camels, my friends, are quite the showmen. The male camel or bull begins the courtship with a display of dominance. He inflates his dullar, a pinkish organ in the throat, to an impressive size and makes a series of deep, rumbling sounds. This not only grabs the attention of the female or cow, but also wards off potential rivals. The cow, in response, signals her receptiveness by urinating and presenting her rear to the bull. 
it's a clear sign she's ready to mate. These courtship rituals, as peculiar as they may seem to us, are crucial for successful reproduction. They ensure that only the most impressive and fit males get to pass on their genes. With the courtship complete, the stage is set for the next crucial step. The act of mating in camels is a complex process, carefully orchestrated by nature. It begins with the male camel exhibiting dominance and attraction towards the female. The male camel does this by inflating his dullar, a unique organ that hangs out of the side of his mouth, and making a frothy saliva. This display is both a show of strength and a signal of readiness to mate. As the female camel becomes receptive to the male's advances, they proceed to the next step. The male camel mounts the female from behind, a common practice among quadrupeds. This act, however, is not as simple as it may seem. The male camel has to balance himself on the female, a task that requires strength and precision. The actual act of copulation can last anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, depending on various factors. These factors include the age and health of the camels, the timing within the female's reproductive cycle, and the environmental conditions. During this time, the male camel will ejaculate several times. This increases the chances of successful fertilization. It's important to note that even under ideal conditions, not every mating act results in a pregnancy. Just like in many other species, the act of mating in camels is influenced by various factors. These range from the individual health and age of the camels to environmental conditions such as the availability of food and water. It's also worth mentioning that camels mate in a kneeling position. This is unique among large mammals and is a testament to the strength and adaptability of these incredible creatures. The act of mating is a crucial part of the camel's life cycle. It's a process that involves complex behaviors and physiological changes, all aimed at ensuring the survival of the species. Following a successful mating, the camel's reproductive journey continues. The next stages involve gestation and birth, which are equally fascinating and intricate processes. But that's a story for another time. After successful mating, the camel cow embarks on a long journey of pregnancy and birth. Camels, like many other species, have a gestation period that spans several months. The camel cow's journey of nurturing new life within her lasts for a long 13 to 15 months. An exciting yet demanding journey filled with anticipation and preparation for the arrival of her offspring. Once the lengthy gestation period is over, the birth process begins. This is a unique event, as camels are known to give birth standing up. A newborn camel or calf experiences the world for the first time with a literal fall, a unique initiation to life, wouldn't you say? The newborn calf is a sight to behold. Born with long legs and a strong body, it is ready to stand and walk within a mere 30 minutes of birth. This is a crucial survival strategy in the harsh desert environment where camels typically live. The ability to move quickly after birth helps the calf avoid potential predators and keep up with the herd. The mother camel, with her inherent maternal instincts, immediately takes on the responsibility of caring for her newborn. She feeds her calf with rich, nutritious milk and guards it vigilantly against any threats. The bond between the mother camel and her calf is strong and touching, a testament to the resilience and strength of these majestic creatures. In the first few weeks of its life, the calf relies heavily on its mother for nutrition and protection. As it grows and matures, however, it learns to fend for itself, developing the strength and resilience needed to survive in the harsh desert environment. The newborn calf's journey from birth to maturity is a fascinating one, filled with trials, growth and adaptation. Each step of this journey is a testament to the resilience and strength of camels, demonstrating their remarkable ability to thrive in some of the world's most demanding environments. And with that, the cycle of camel reproduction comes full circle. The journey of life continues, as the calf grows, matures, and eventually becomes a parent itself, perpetuating the cycle of life in the harsh yet mesmerizing desert landscape. From the harsh desert conditions to the intriguing courtship rituals, camel reproduction is indeed a marvel of nature. Today, we've journeyed through the fascinating world of camels, from their unique mating season, marked by dramatic displays of dominance and prowess, to the careful and calculated courtship rituals that precede the act of mating itself. 
We've delved into the actual process of mating in camels, a spectacle that's as interesting as it is complex. And who can forget the journey of pregnancy and birth? A testament to the resilience and strength of these magnificent creatures as they bring forth new life in the midst of harsh desert conditions. It's been an enlightening exploration, offering us a glimpse into the marvels of nature through the lens of camel reproduction. As we bid farewell to the world of camels, remember, the mysteries of nature are endless.